Uh, people have been protesting all across the country, of course, because of Donald uh, Trump being the president-elect. Uh, well, it seems that that's not really going to change. I'm not a Trump fan, so I, I really don't care. Uh, I, I didn't vote for him. But uh, people want to protest. If you really want to protest for something that can actually be changed and should be changed, and this is Liberty University, uh, they should be ashamed of hiring ex-Baylor Athletic Director Ian McCall. Now, Liberty University announced the hiring on Monday of a new athletic director, quote, citing his impressive record of success in sports at Baylor. Huh. Huh. Man, what did we just get through talking about? Uh, what the lengthy announcement did not mention uh, was that Ian McCall stepped down at Baylor amid an ongoing un- uh, sexual assault scandal that has spawned spawned lawsuits, convictions, and cost the jobs of Baylor's high-profile head coach, Art Bryles, and school president, Kent Starr. Now, not saying he just cost them their job. They also did some bad things, too, so they lost their jobs for that reason. But uh, Jerry Falwell Jr., Liberty's president, had this to say. I can't stress how excited I am about Ian McCaw at Liberty University. I don't think, Ian, there could be a better fit between a university and an athletic director. And I just um, am so, I got such high um, hopes and expectations for the future of Liberty Athletics. And I believe that we're going to be able to go places that we've, we've not yet been in, in so many ways. And we, we um, are honored to have Ian join us as our athletic director. I worked with um, Grant Taff, who's a former head coach at Baylor, former athletic director. I spoke with, uh, with um, regents, that's what they call their trustees there at Baylor, who uh, could not say enough good things about this man's character and his integrity. And we, um, it's just everyone we spoke with gave us the highest recommendation. And it was um, really an easy decision. And we um, are just so, so proud that he chose Liberty. You know, in 13 years at Baylor, the school noted McCall's Bears won five national titles and more than 50 Big 12 Conference championships in terms of all their sports uh, and formerly downtrodden football program. Quote, reached bowl game six consecutive years for the first time in school history, end quote. That program also, what they forgot to mention, what Jerry Falwell forgot to mention, that great you know, how great Ian McCall is and all the great things that he did was that the program also included 19 players reported by 17 women for incidents of domestic violence and or sexual assault since 2011. Uh, And Baylor's facing multiple federal lawsuits over what the women say uh, was a policy of ignoring, if not actively suppressing their accusations. In the wake of that report, McCall was sanctioned by Baylor and placed on probation. He resigned shortly thereafter. Saying in a statement, quote, after much reflection and prayer, I've decided that a change in athletics department leadership is in Baylor's best interest in order to promote unity, healing, and restoration that must occur in order to move forward. Oh, man. So that only took about a few months, and you feel like you're ready to go lead another sports program full of young men and women, and... Your track record says what exactly? Where's, where's the character building? Where's the caring of young men and women, whether they were student athletes or not? That whole thing, that, that reputation has been, it's gone. There is, no, there is none. Um, earlier this month, it, it, this is where it gets a little bit better. Uh, Baylor released a statement claiming that McCall and Bryles were among several members of the athletic department who failed to act upon being informed in 2013 that a female student athlete had reported being gang raped by five football players. Baylor said that in 2015, McCall initially denied having any knowledge of the student athlete's allegations, but he subs- uh, subsequently acknowledged that her coach had told him in 2013. Uh, the school claimed that McCall said he thought the victim did not wish to report the w- rape. So let's read that again. The school claimed that McCall said he thought the victim 
did not wish to report the rape. She just wanted to tell him, hey, a football player, football players gang raped me. I just want to let you know. Don't, don't tell anybody else. Who? Why? No one, no one would do that. Now, a group of assistant coaches at Baylor, include, including the son of Bryles, Kendall Bryles, is disputing the school's version of those events. As it turns out, Liberty football program uh, opens up the 2017 season at no other than at Baylor. <laughs> uh, beyond that, McCall said in the school's announcement that he aims to help Liberty put together a big-time football program. This is sickening. Why should we allow someone like McCall take over a program, a university, uh, after all of this? I just, it's, it's sickening to me. That's, that's what it is. If people want to protest, that is something worth protesting, something that actually would change, uh, and Liberty should just be ashamed of themselves. Uh, the alumni, the... Uh, faculty everyone should deny should push this where he is not uh ian mccall is not the athletic director uh because this is all sorts of wrongs if i'm a, a student athlete uh i'm ashamed uh i'm upset i'm upset but liberty obviously cares more about building a football program building a sports program more than about building character this is also a uh, religious university, but I guess they just do not care about young women being sexually assaulted and uh, being abused. So, good job, Liberty. 